Hey guys, this is Julian of Julian Gray Media. A lot has changed over the past two years. This is a long overdue update vlog. I think the last one I did was when we first moved into this new apartment. But I figured I should probably record a new video, tell you guys what I've been up to, what's happening with the YouTube channel, and why I haven't been uploading as much, and also the future of the channel and what I anticipate doing with it over the next year or so. So stay tuned and we'll discuss all that in a moment. If you enjoy this video, consider supporting me on Patreon for exclusive perks including project file downloads, tools for your creative process, early access to videos, and more. Click on the card in the upper right hand corner for more information. Okay, first of all, if you guys have been watching my channel for the past few years, you'll know that I moved into this apartment with my partner Katie and our cat Juno about two years ago. In just the past month, I've switched my arrangement. My desk was over by the window. It is now here by the corner. It's a little bit better acoustics here. Lighting is slightly better. Cooler background for videos like this. If you're wondering why the video looks different than normal, that's why. But that's not really important to this video. I just wanted to tell you guys what I've been up to and maybe the reason I haven't been uploading as much on YouTube. So back in like 2017, 2016 and earlier, I was doing this really rigorous upload schedule of three videos a week and I just felt like the quality of those videos wasn't incredibly great. I think the information was there and as a proxy to that, I felt I covered practically everything I would ever want to teach about like Ableton Live or about music production. And I felt about two or three years ago that there's no real reason for me to continue grinding out Ableton tutorials on basic stuff, you know? There's a million videos out there now where they weren't in 2013 when I started this channel, 2012 or whatever it was. And there's a million other producers creating the videos that I was creating in 2013. I think I was a little bit ahead of the game, proud of that, but in 2021, there's a million YouTube tutorials out there for every topic under the sun. That being said, I felt there wasn't really a need for me to continue that three video a week grind and just make Ableton videos every week for the sake of making Ableton videos. So if you've noticed on the channel, there's been a shift of tone and a lack of uploads. That's because fundamentally my life has changed and my attitude towards uploading has changed a lot in the past two or three years. As I've aged, I've learned that quality and creating the best content greatly outweighs grinding out content daily. I used to be this huge proponent to this idea of, you know, getting as much content out there as possible for the sake of growing the channel, for the sake of, you know, helping as many people as I can. And I think that those people that I was trying to help can find help elsewhere now at better quality and probably more um, engaging to watch. So I've slowed down my Ableton tutorials as you've probably noticed over the past few years and I've pivoted towards a little bit different content now. Because I don't feel this underlying need to grind out three videos a week or whatever schedule I was doing before, I've took the time to really focus on projects that I'm really passionate about. I've taken a step back and really focused on what I want to see in videos. Videos that only I can make or someone who is a little bit more experienced in Ableton or making YouTube tutorials could make. So if you've noticed over the past year or two, I've pivoted my videos from very beginner centric, you know, just getting started using an EQ into stuff that I find more applicable for producers that are a little bit more experienced or are trying to improve their music. And that's where I find myself thriving making videos when I'm creating stuff that's interesting to me or I think will be engaging for people like me. Whenever I see a cool new product like the Voclia Doubler speaking and singing MIDI into your DAW or you know, an opportunity like my Ableton documentary on the history of the program. Those are the kind of projects that I want to do on YouTube. And it's what I plan on focusing on into the future. I know a lot of you watching this channel have been watching for a long time. A lot of producers come to me who astound me when they say, you know, your 
channel got me into production. And I'm not talking about like, you know, average Joe producers. I'm talking about like main stage producers. And that's really inspiring to me. And the videos that I want to make are for those kind of people that have been here for a long time and maybe are interested in stuff that's a little bit more engaging than how to use uh, an EQ, for example. So into the future of Julian Gray Media, I want to focus on users like that and users like myself and making videos about things that I'm really passionate about. The trend has been going that way on the channel for the past year or so. I just wanted to formally tell you guys what's been going on and why my upload schedule has slowed down. I've adopted the idea that you know quality and engaging ideas is much more important than creating for the sake of creating and trying to brainstorm the night before about some small technique that I use with a, an EQ or a compressor or whatever so I can make a video the next day. I want to focus on more inspiring ideas and I hope that you guys enjoy the ride going forward. If you followed my social media accounts, you'll know that I've also pivoted a lot of my energy from YouTube to alternate projects. I started Gradient Collective my record label and artist collective about two years ago and ever since we've released three compilations colors volume one two and three with over 30 songs and we've been putting a lot of work into it gradient collective is essentially a culmination of a lot of my friends students and mentees over the years and it's some of the artists that i believe in most in my immediate artist family these are the people that inspire me every day, and it's the people that I like to collaborate with all the time. A lot of the Gradient creatives appear on the Julian Gray Discord all the time, and almost monthly on the Fix Your Project streams I do every month, which I still, I still plan on doing on a monthly basis. If you're interested in checking out more about Gradient Collective and that whole project, click on the link in the upper right-hand corner right now, and if I can't link it, then I'll link it in the description below. It's one of the projects that inspires me the most. It's a lot of work. It's taken a lot of time away from the YouTube thing, but I really love it. I really love all of the creatives that we have as part of the project, and I believe in all of them. So I hope you guys go and check it out and check out some of the artists involved. I also have been doing a metric ton of touring over the past three years. All of these big releases that I've done since 2018 on Mousetrap and Juna Beats, Monster Cat, 03, Elliptical Sun, Enhanced Music, Colorize, basically every progressive label there is, has culminated into the ability to play live music for you guys. And I've enjoyed meeting a lot of you around the country in all of the tour dates that I've been doing. This being said, I have a few shows coming up. If you want to support me or go see me in concert, I have a few dates. I will link them in the description below. It'll be on my Song Kick page, and you can go and see me in concert, and maybe we can meet up and hang out. It sounds like a lot of fun. So in addition to the lack of desire to grind out YouTube videos on a three times a week basis like I was doing years ago, I also just have limited time now. I have the Julian Gray project, the tour dates, my family, my Gradient Collective project, and then you know I do client work on the side as well. I, I am a mentor for 15 or 16 students a month. So sometimes it is difficult for me to create videos for this channel, but I fully anticipate doing so. And I want to make videos that I care about and I just ask that you give me the time to do that. Another update, I'm sure you've noticed by this point in the video, I've done some really cool rebranding for the Julian Gray Media channel and all of the stuff that goes into Julian Gray Media, which is my educational music brand. Cool animations like this and like this. Just finished those, hope you guys like them. Let me know what you think in the comment section of this video. If you do like them, give the video a like. Took a lot of work to get them running. Hope you dig it. I think it looks cool, much more modern than before. The last branding overhaul we did on Julian Gray Media was like 2016, so it was much overdue. If you want to be in immediate contact with me or you want to know what I'm up to when I'm not on YouTube, 
which is pretty regularly now. Make sure to follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. Yeah, those are the main ones that I use. And you'll see my daily uploads, which is usually, you know, useless information. But if if you're interested in what I'm up to, it's sharing information, useless information at that on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. So I'll see you guys over there. This week, I plan on creating some new videos for you guys in this new format. One is using show control and CDJs to synchronize live visuals to whatever you're playing on a DJ setup on stage. This is something that a lot of bigger artists have been asking a video for for years, including myself. So I reached out to the people at Show Control. We worked it out. I talked to my friends at Resolume and we're all collaborating on a video on controlling visuals from a CDJ on stage. Something that I think a lot of people will get value out of and something that I'm really passionate about and wanna make a video about. The second video is gonna be on marketing and building a world around your records rather than sticking it out on SoundCloud or you know, keeping it on your drive, which is even worse, for eternity. And maybe building an, an overarching theme to your music. So look out for those two videos. Really excited to get these going and I'm hoping that you guys enjoy this new format and continue watching my videos for the next 10, 15 years. I'm Julian of Julian Gray Media. Thank you for watching this vlog. I promise I won't take another two years to update you guys again. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.